Good morning, y'all. Happy, what is today? Honestly, the days run together. I don't know what, what day it is. Thursday, right, it is Thursday. So Thursdays are in our one-on-one -on -one client check-in days, which is when all of our clients we work with individually. We work with a lot of people, but um, people who work with us directly, people that check in regularly, people that are in our, um, our different tiers of coaching, uh, they check in on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and then we respond on Thursdays and Fridays, um, depending on how many you're checking in. Not every client checks in every single week, and so um, every Thursday is a little bit different depending on the workload, but what is on the agenda today? So right now it is 9.40, and I have a Facebook Live event at 10. I'm doing the workout live with people inside of our group. After that, I actually have to run to the gym but shortly after that, I'm actually gonna do a Facebook Live at noon to talk about rest. I need to elaborate a little bit more on rest to make sure people inside the group understand when to take days off, how to rest, all those type of good things. So that's something crucial I need to share. I also am gonna share a little bit today about what I'm doing with my nutrition. Um, so yeah, I'm actually doing intermittent fasting right now and I will elaborate why. And so some people have questions about what intermittent fasting is, why you use it, all that kind of good stuff. Um, I'm going to elaborate a little bit more on that, but I am doing intermittent fasting right now and there's a reason for it. So I'm gonna um, share that later on in this, um, today in this episode for you. And yeah, after that, we have client check-ins this afternoon to respond back to, to review, to update programs, things like that. And so I don't think I'll probably get to that grill again today. It's something I wanted to get to, but we'll see. We'll see how the day goes and uh, yeah. Appreciate you guys coming back and watching again. That's the three line. What are you doing? I'm filling it up. Jenna seems to think that she doesn't know how to fix rice, even in a rice cooker. I don't. Last time it came out crunchy. It came out perfect last time. Wasn't it crunchy? It just kept its form. It's supposed to be sticky rice. Right? Okay, you're gonna have another one. We're out. We have more behind me on that. Oh yeah. Katie Lynn's gonna yell at you when she sees that. Katie, okay, ready? This is really hard. Dump this into here. You put this into here. You then close the lid. Hit power. And then hit. White rice. That's like that. And that's it. <laughs> and then we throw the trash away. Where are we going? We're going over to my mother's house. We're breaking quarantine rules. We're getting within 10 feet. No, we're not. We're going to keep our distance while we're there. Oh, no, it's only six feet, so we can stay within 10. Right. You think you're not going to get closer than six feet? I'm going to stay outside while you're grilling. What? And we're gonna grill some food since again today I didn't get to our grill. I'm sorry. There's gonna be nicer weather for that to come. We have plenty of days still left on quarantine. And that calls for sunshine and blue skies. You'll know when the day is. You'll be excited to put it together. What are you eating? Show the people. Caught red-handed. Show the lid. I'm dead. So it's dairy-free French onion dip. It is delicious. Wait, show the lid. Nice. Healthy French onion dip. Great, right, honey. All right, let's go.
Okay, check these out. You might want to come on this other side so you can see me better with that daylight behind. Check out these. Gotta get them off here because they're starting to get a little spongy. These are gonna be good. Look at that. No, they don't mix up your mom's chicken with mine. I know which one hers is. I'm kidding. Jay Beans? Oh no! Oh no! I almost lost him. Okay, wait, let's put these in the middle. So, this, these are mom's. You remember when your mom said her grill was so filthy? Wait, it's a grill, Lisa. I'm dead. I'm looking at the grill like, wow, it is filthy, but it's a grill. I forgot to check these, but I know they're right. I know they're good, so. Uh, what's it know on that, just in case it's not? This and this is hers. Those are good. Those are done. I know those other things are thin. Yeah, they're super done. And then, these are our turkey colors. Nice. Look how good that looks. Wow. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Dang. Don't want to lose them. Here's another one. Okay, mm -hmm. these are all done. Hey, that's not what the people want to see. Okay, watch you. Don't lose any gains. No gains left behind. Oh, Ooh, hot potato. Check that out. Yes. Okay. We're in business. I'm going to drain it and put some more in. Okay. I'm making honey. Okay, so I got the tahini in there. Um, Making Ashley Cordon's famous Making chickpea. Making Ashley Cordon's famous chickpea. Getting whatever it on the vlog. Yes. Chickpea hummus. Two cloves, I don't know. Just give it a whirl. Two cloves, I don't know what cloves it's are. It's really kind of going to be like to what your liking is. Three tablespoons. Your, your... But mom doesn't know what she likes. Yeah, that's true. She just knows she likes hummus. We does love Thomas. Dad does? Yeah, he takes it every single day for lunch. Well, you pack his lunches, so he takes whatever you give him. Yeah, but now he can have homemade hummus, and you'll save so much money. Well, you know. Only if she makes it. Lisa, okay. you're going to be a star. Oh, please. <laughs> okay. Give this evil laugh. <laughs> yeah, get it in, get it in. Oh wait, is it going? I don't uh -oh. know. It may not even difficulties. work. After See? all that in there, oh there we go. Oh yeah. That looks good. Look at all that hummus. I think it'll be good. Do I look okay, Jenna? Yes. This is your good side. You're such your son's mother. I know. <laughs> what? Here. Just in case. Yeah, it ain't stirred on top, I can see it. Separate. Yeah, it is. It'll separate a little bit. Here. Oh, right here? It's a little darker on top. All right, here oils we go. come up or something. Now that's going to taste. Yeah? Oh, yeah? Did you add the rest of the garlic or something? Mm -hmm. Not the rest, but quite a lot. Pretty much. Yes, you did. What's going on guys? So um, I want to jump on here, kind of close out this evening a little slower than maybe we have in the last couple days. Um, I know a couple days ago, I didn't even close out a vlog, just got busy working, busy doing things. And then yesterday we closed it out, showing you um, some new things, the fridge over here in the corner. So but I want to I want to close it out and talk a little bit about my nutrition today. So I have some, had some people ask questions about what we do in our routine. Um, what our nutritional routine looks like. And so without getting too deep, um, which obviously we have many more days to go, but without getting too deep, I wanted to kind of dive in and talk a little bit about what, we're, what I'm currently doing right now. So believe it or not, I am actually doing intermittent fasting right now. So um, 
it's not something I'm super, super educated in in a sense of like, I don't know all the ins and outs of intermittent fasting and all the different benefits that people would argue. I don't know the, um, I mean, the pros, the cons, like I, I don't know both sides of the story, but I do know that it's just about like anything else when it comes to nutrition. If you had, if you looked at nutrition as like a tool belt, right? If you looked at nutrition as a tool belt and all these different things like keto or like counting macros or intermittent fasting, um, they should be looked at as tools or notches in your tool belt to be used for specific reasons. So a couple weeks ago, I'll set some context. Um, a couple weeks ago, actually, let me go back farther. So before we left Tampa, um, I wasn't really eating a whole lot in the sense of carbohydrates. I was eating plenty of nutrition, but I had kind of, um, kind of started to lean up. Jen had helped me cut back on some things and really kind of clean some things up. And so um, naturally I was eating around the 275 to 300 grams of carbs a day range. And so it wasn't like I was eating a little amount. I mean, I, most people would love to have 275 to 300 grams of carbs a day and still be getting lean and dropping body fat and weight and all that kind of good stuff. But um, being that I'm 6'2", naturally sitting around 215 to 220 pounds, a guy like my a guy my size, a guy like my frame, um, should be eating more than that um, on a daily basis. And so I started that climb, right? Something we call reverse diet. Um, and and if, if you've worked with us before, you know that terminology. We've used that before, um, the term of reverse diet. And so it's not new to you. If it is, um, I'm gonna put a link below in the comment section for you to kind of look at intermittent fasting, what it is. Um, and that way you know um, a little more research about what intermittent fasting is, or I'm sorry, what reverse dieting is. So not, not to confuse you, but I was doing a reverse diet, getting back, um, getting my carbohydrates increased. And so we were increasing food over time, still losing weight, still losing body fat. And I actually did very, very well um, for a long time. And then actually went through like a 30 day to healthy living program in January. And so between all of that, I got all the way up to eating nearly 400, 420 grams of carbohydrates a day, and I was still getting very, very lean and losing weight. Um, and then there came a time where like your body starts to kind of regulate, your body starts to kind of figure it out. And so through all of that, decided to um, dive into a little more research, listening to some podcasts, doing some different um, self studies and things like that to try to check and see where my blood glucose levels were at, my, um, my blood sugar, right? And so for sake of not getting too sciencey on here and kind of making a long story short, I wanted to check my blood glucose levels, my blood sugar levels and figure out where I actually was at because I had never done that before. And I do know that if you're above 100, you're technically in that like pre-diabetic range. And so one thing's for sure, the more carbohydrates you eat over time, the more your body naturally starts to get into that range of like where your body doesn't utilize insulin like it's supposed to or produce insulin like it's supposed to, all those you know different types of things. And so, which is type two diabetes, right? Um, I think, yeah, type two, I believe. So type two, which is where like somebody eats a lot of garbage, they eat a lot of sugar, they eventually um, get to a point where their body literally doesn't um, produce insulin. So, you know, not that I'm close to that, I'm not close to that, I'm not even close to that at all, but being somebody who has who had gotten my carbohydrates from like 275 all the way up to 400, I wanted to check it out. I wanted to see um, how my body was still responding to carbohydrates. And so Jen and I did a 12 hour fast and we checked our blood sugar levels. Uh, we went to Walgreens, found a blood glucose meter, pricked your finger, checked it right on after 12 hours fast and I was upwards of 103, I think. I think I still have a picture. If I do, I'll link it right here. I was 103, um, which is technically really, you know, it's high. I, should, I, I would love to be down in like the 80, 85 at the most range. Um, 70s would be awesome too, but I wasn't. Uh, I was a little high. And so naturally, if that was after a 12 hour fast, um, my body's gonna be spiking pretty high during the times I'm actually eating carbs. And so that basically told me, listen, you've done well to get yourself up to this point, but your body has kind of stopped responding to carbohydrates. And so I wanted to do something to get my body responding to those carbohydrates again. And so I reached out to a friend of ours who's also, um, he's, he's very well known in the ketogenic space, in the keto space. He's very well known in the industry um, for helping people, um, you know, navigate through 
making sure their body is working optimally and whether that's through nutrition or things like that. So we reached out to him, we picked his brain a little bit and he gave us one of two different options. And so he said, obviously him being somebody who, who does a lot of research for ketogenic stuff and um, the, the ketogenic diet, there's a big difference between being ketogenic diet and actually getting your body into ketosis. And so um, he kind of laid the, the pros and cons out of, you know, if it was him being somebody who, you know, is in the keto space, he said, I would just go keto, cut all your carbohydrates basically out, increase your fat content, that way you're getting energy from your fat content, and uh, you know, be able to kind of get your body to like pull, you know, pull those carbs out, so that way when you add those carbs back in, your body responds very well, very well to them, and so, I mean, obviously it makes sense. He gave us the second option of, you could try intermittent fasting, which is basically cutting, cutting your carb intakes down to a specific narrow time. And so um, being right now that we're obviously um, kind of quarantined in and we're just not really changing a whole lot about our routine, I went with the second option, which was the intermittent fasting. And so again, I don't know much about intermittent fasting. I'm actually learning more as we go. But I do know one thing for sure is um, it's a little bit of a process and it's hard to do. So my eating schedule right now is between 1 p.m. in the afternoon and nine o'clock at night. So I'm eating an entire day between one o'clock and nine o'clock. Okay, so um, I am a big nighttime snacker, Jen and I like to really hang out in the evening time and um, watch Netflix, do our thing, and eat some snacks, stuff like that. And so it's been a little bit of a change in process. And so right now it's currently 9.50 and I ate my last meal almost an hour ago and uh, got cleaned up. I'm gonna go hit the sack here soon because um, obviously, we have a long day of finishing up check-ins and things tomorrow, but um, yeah, I wanna jump on here and kind of break down what I'm currently doing. So right now, I'm still eating. Um, I'm not really tracking right now, to be honest. I am probably still eating upwards of 300 grams of carbs a day. Um, not quite 400, but I'm doing it more of an intermittent fasting way, which means I'm only getting it between certain times. So it's my first little dabble into intermittent fasting. And uh, so far, I mean, obviously, like I don't have trouble really adapting to any type of routine if somebody tells me you have to do it this way. Like I almost went keto, to be honest. And it might be something I tried down the road just to say I've tried it. Um, but again, our view on diet nutrition is what do we have to do to get your body working optimally for you? So right now, what we thought would be best for me to get my body functioning optimally, to be able to utilize those carbohydrates optimally, is to do something where we pull those carbohydrates from the body to make sure when we do give them back that your body is utilizing them again. Because right now, obviously, checking my blood glucose, glucose levels, I was at 103. So my body is like kind of not even really using them like they should anymore. And so, um, you know, that's something that obviously we have to tackle over time. And I'll probably do another... Uh, 12 hour fast here soon to recheck in and see where I'm at. So I'm probably gonna do intermittent fasting um, for about two weeks and I'm about, you know, I started on Monday. So as you've been following along here, I've been doing intermittent fasting this whole time. So I've been something I've been wanting to talk to you guys about, but just, you know, obviously the right time and we've had a lot of things going on. And so, um, yeah, today was a little bit of a slower day working from home and um, we went over and saw the parents earlier. It was the first time we had seen them in almost two weeks and so, um, yeah, it is what it is. So I'm gonna cut this out right here. Appreciate you guys following along, watching as always, hit the subscribe button. Let us know what else maybe you guys wanna see from us. And if there's anything obviously we can do for you, let us know. I really appreciate um, you guys viewing these. It's something fun that we've wanted to do for a while. I've wanted to do for a while and uh, just to get my YouTube channel going again. And so it's been, uh, it's been a chore. It's been very hard to put a video out every single day. Um, if you think it's easy, it's not at all. So appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to cut it off here. Have a great rest of your evening and I will see you guys tomorrow.